What do you mean by 3, 1? Three surrounding atoms and one lower pair, in which case the shape is always said to be pyramidal. 3, actually they are called bonded pairs, 3 bond pairs and 1 lone pair. 3 surrounding atoms, 3, 1. And if some other molecule also has the same kind of number, uh, surrounding atoms and uh, this one, this will also be pyramidal. You can see XeO3, xenon trioxide, 3 surrounding atoms and there is only one lone pair. How, how are we supposed to know that there is only one lone pair on xenon? Xenon, 3 oxygens. Each oxygen forms two bonds. In a previous question, I told you wherever you find oxygen, it forms two bonds. Xenon has eight electrons. Three into two, six of them are used. What are used? Three into two, six electrons are used. And there still are two electrons unused. So what is an unused pair of electrons called? It is called a lone pair. So XeO3 once again, three guest atoms. Guest, I repeat, surrounding atoms, guess, three guest atoms and one lone pair, this is also pyramidal. So what is it I am trying to tell you? The shape depends not on the central atom. Shape does not depend on, what is this? Surrounding atoms, but it only depends on the number, how many, how many people are surrounding you and how many people, how many electrons you still have not being used. So the shape of a molecule depends on number of surrounding atoms and number of lone pairs. So you can have a small list. I can't give you the whole list but I can tell you two zero, two surrounding atoms and no lone pairs such a molecule will be linear, gladly linear. An example BeCl2, it has two surrounding atoms two chlorines and there is no lone pair. Why don't we have a lone pair here? Why don't we have a lone pair here? Beryllium, poor beryllium belongs to the second group. It just has two electrons and both the electrons are in bonding with chlorine. There, so there is no question of surplus electrons. All, all beryllium has got are only two electrons. Therefore, two are shared. So two surrounding atoms and there is no lone pair. So beryllium chloride is linear. And second, 2, 1, 2, 1, it is bent. For example, SNCl2, SNCl2, I would have liked to write it as linear. SNCl2, I would have preferred to write it in a linear manner. You also would like because SNCl2, SNCl2, the case we are discussing is SNCl2. Okay, SNCl2. All of us would like to write one chlorine on the left, one chlorine on the left. We always prefer uh, two atoms uh, side by side. But this won't be, remain linear because there is a lone pair in stannum which repels the bond pairs. And because of the repulsion, the resulting structure will be this bent. It is not linear. It is not linear. This is wrong. This is a wrong structure of SNCl2. SNCl2 is not linear. Okay, like something like this, S and C L2, bent. So, 2, 0, linear. So, you just calculate how many guests are there and how many, so shapes of molecules, number of surrounding atoms, 2, 0, linear. 2, 1, bent. 2, 2, 2, 2. It is V-shaped, bent or this one is called bent or angular. 2-2 two, two is called V-shape. 2-3, two, two surrounding atoms and three lone pairs. Too many lone pairs, two surrounding atoms, three lone pairs. It is also linear, but it is a little unexpected. So, unexpectedly linear. Why is it unexpected? Whenever you have lone pairs, you don't expect any, I mean regular geometry, you don't expect linear. 3, 0 is trigonal planar, trigonal planar, 3, 1, pyramidal. So, I expect you to find more about 3, 2, 3 bond pair, 2 lone pairs. You have to verify books and find out 3, 2 is T-shaped, 4, 0 
is tetrahedral. I am not writing this purposefully. I am not writing this because I expect you students. I expect you to co uh, learn that from books. You will find them in all the books. 3, 2, T shape, 4, 0, tetrahedral, 5, 0, trigonal, bipyramidal, 5, 1, square, pyramidal. Like that you will find the shapes. Okay? You just go for 5, 1, 6, 0, 6, 1, 7, 0. You have many more things like that. 5, 0, 5, 1, 6, 0, 6, 1, 7, 0. All are possible. I just will give you this shape. 3, 2 is T shape. 4, 0 is tetrahedral. 4, 1. 4, 1 is distorted tetrahedral or seesaw. And you can even have 4, 2. 4, 2. 4, 2 is square planar. Tetrahedral, distorted tetrahedral, or it is also called seesaw, seesaw, and 4 to square planar. So I have written some of them and I have purposefully not written some of them. 3 2 T shape, 4 0 tetrahedral, 4 1 distorted tetrahedral or seesaw, 5 0 trigonal bipyramidal, 5 1 square pyramidal. 4 to square planar, 6 0 is octahedral, 6 1 is distorted octahedral or capped octahedral, it is called capped octahedral. 7 0, 7 0 is pentagonal bipyramidal. So, what I expect you to do is you just have to spell out the lone pairs and bond pairs, the guest atoms, and the, for example, SF4. I never want the shape of SF4. Just listen, what I expect you to do is, it will take one or two minutes, but have patience. Look here, SF4, four surrounding atoms, four surrounding atoms, four bond pairs, or they can also be called four guest atoms, never mind, four surrounding atoms. And are there any lone pairs? Yes, there are. How do we know? Sulfur has six electrons. And it is spending only 4 SF4, 6 minus 4 by 2. So there, there is one lone pair. So 4, 1. So what will be the shape of SF4? You may be wondering why we are discussing the shape of SF4 in group 6. Sulfur is a group, group 6 element. Why are we discussing that in group 5? Don't worry. We had to learn the shape of ammonia in group 5A. Nitrogen belongs to 5A. In, in 5A, you must know the shape of NH3 and there is a procedure to find the shape of NH3. Same procedure you use even for 6A and 7A. So why should we learn different things at different places? Let us all put them together. So bring all similar things together. That is the aim. So SF4, how would you have liked to write? For example, CH4, you all would like to write carbon here. and grandly four hydrogens in tetrahedral manner. CH4, you would like to write it in a tetrahedral manner. So do I, and that is true. And SF4 also, I don't, I don't mind writing it in a tetrahedral manner. SF4, I don't mind. I don't mind, but definitely the lone pair minds. SF4, four fluorines, sulfur surrounded by four fluorines, which are tetrahedral. Are they really tetrahedral? They aren't. But, but, there is a lone pair here. Because of the lone pair bond pair repulsion, one of the fluorines is going away, running away from this. And look how it attains. SF4, a straight line and a V shape. That is what is called C sa. SF4, everyone would like to write SF4 like this. Because one sulfur surrounded by four fluorines. But, will it remain like this? CH4? Definitely four hydrogens in a tetrahedral manner, <coughs> CH4 will definitely remain like this. But SF4 will not remain like this because of the repulsion between lone pair and bond pairs. And the shape of resulting shape of SF4 will be this. Due to lone pair bond pair repulsion, you will find SF4 like this. Two fluorines almost uh, linear and two fluorines. And all this happens because of this lone pair. So, this is not the structure, this is, this is called C-SA.
और डिस्टॉर्टेड टेट्राहेड्रल डिस्टॉर्टेड मीन्स डिस्टर्ब हु डिस्टर्ब हु एल्स द लोन पे डिस्टर्ब हु डिस्टर्ब हु एल्स द लोन पे इफ द लोन पेयर वर नॉट देर एस एफ फोर ऑल्सो वुड हैव बीन टेट्राहेड्रल लाइक इट्स सी एच फोर एक्सेट्रा नाउ How will you write the shape of what is the shape of NO2 minus NO2 minus? In one question we saw one nitrogen, two oxygens. One of them is a minus. Oxygen forms two bonds. O minus forms one bond. How to draw? How to draw the structure of NO2 minus? Nitrogen at the center. Oxygen forms two bonds. O minus forms one bond. Look here. Nitrogen is forming only three bonds. And two electrons are still left there, so it's once again two bond pairs and one lone pair. The shape is bent or angular. The shape of nitrite ion is angular. And how about shape of nitrate ion and O3 minus? And O3 minus. Nitrogen, the central atom. Three oxygens. Minus. And O3 minus. Let me put the minus here. Oxygen forms two bonds wherever it is. O minus form one bond wherever it is. In one of the previous questions, we discussed that if nitrogen is forming more than three bonds, if nitrogen is forming more than three bonds, one bond should be a dative bond, a coordinate covalent bond, because nitrogen can only donate that pair and O3 minus. So, how many people are surrounding nitrogen? Three. And how many electrons are left? None. All the five electrons of nitrogen are used. Two are shared with this oxygen. Two are shared with the oxygen. One is shared with this O minus, and two are donated. Nitrogen has five electrons. And what can you say about the five electrons? What can you say about the five electrons? All five electrons are busy. Two of them are shared. Two of them are donated. One is shared. So nitrogen, no doubt, has five electrons, but all five electrons are shared. Therefore, NO3 minus it is three bond pairs and no lone pairs. A trigonal planar. It is a trigonal planar ion. NO3 minus three bond pairs and no lone pairs. So that is how you have to find the shapes of molecules. student.